Well, there was a buzz at Hornet Stadium this afternoon as Sac State football took the field for their season opener. The Hornets looking to build on the success of last year when they posted the best record as a Division I program. And some, some Sac State players told me earlier this week they've got their sights set on a championship. And a lot of fans excited to see this program on the rise. And for today's home opener, a former Sac State football player is treating local kids to the game for free. Mike Johnson is a trainer at Playmakers Elite Sports Academy. He works with athletes of all levels and today he organized this community tailgate complete with food and drinks in addition to tickets to today's game. Dozens of local families and even former NFL players coming out to enjoy this college football Saturday and the kids even got to be on the field when the team ran out of the tunnel. A fun way to kick off the season and show support for local kids. We're giving away tickets, giving away free food, having a great time out here, supporting my my uh, my program because I'm a former former Hornet myself, and just enjoying ourselves out here, just to be able to give back to the community, give back to people that might not be able to afford it. That's why we did this event to give back to the community, give back to um, everybody, so they can have a great time with their family, have a great time. The kids have a great time. In Sac State, hosting St. Francis out of Illinois, a great crowd at Hornet Stadium, but no. Head coach Jody Sears, he served a one-game suspension for a self-reported violation dating back to the 2016 season. His team played very well in his absence, though. Quarterback Kevin Thompson completing 11 of his 12 passes for 224 yards and two touchdowns. Sac State strikes first and often. Elijah Dotson, well, he would take off 73 yards for the first touchdown of the game right here. Sac State adds a field goal to take a 10-0 lead into the second quarter. The Hornets kept their foot on the gas, taking a 38-0 lead into the locker room at half and Sac State opening up the season with a big 55-7 win.